The Kohler EFI service kit is required to test the fuel pressure. Run the engine out of fuel to relieve fuel pressure. Or unplug the high pressure fuel pump module and attempt to start the engine. Unplug fuel pump by carefully unlocking the fuel pump connector. The high pressure fuel line is released by depressing or squeezing the buttons. Early models had dual buttons while later models have the single button seen here. Removing the oil cooler mounting fasteners provides some additional and much needed clearance. Fuel pump mounting fasteners may also need loosening or removal to disconnect the high pressure fuel line. Depress button while removing the high pressure connector. It may be necessary to remove the vent hose as pulling on it excessively could break off the vent fitting. Reinstall the mounting fasteners to hold the pump in place during testing. Connect fuel pressure test hose from the EFI service kit to the high pressure fuel line. Connect other side of the fuel pressure test hose to the fuel pump module. Securely fasten the fuel pressure gauge to the fuel pressure test hose. When the ignition is switched on, the pump may run for a few seconds and generate fuel pressure before the starter is engaged. Be sure the fuel pump module is plugged in, then start and run the engine to test fuel pressure. Refer to the service manual for fuel pressure specification. Fuel pressure specification for most Kohler gasoline EFI engines is 39 PSI plus or minus 3. Fuel pressure will not remain at spec when the engine is turned off. It's important to know there are numerous possible causes of incorrect fuel pressure besides the high pressure fuel pump module itself. Watch incorrect fuel pressure to learn more.